Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Lane Side Reviews. And on this episode, we're going to be looking at Motive's brand new Octane Carbon. Alright guys, so welcome back. As always, I'm the Bearded Beast, Rob Johnson, joined once again by Scoops Porter. Now as we said, we're looking at Motive's brand new Octane Carbon. Now this is their first in a new line that we've seen with their new core, new cover, and a whole bunch of new stuff. So why don't you tell us a little bit more about the ball, Scoops? This has the Injector High RG Core in it and the Agitator MXR Pearl Cover Stock. Mm -hmm. Now the MXR stands for Maximum Energy Retention. With this new cover and new core combination, it's just amazing performance in the for the line. It's very clean and very controllable and great addition to the line. Yeah, now in watching you guys throw it, I noticed that um, while you and Wayne liked it, and we'll talk a little bit about more about this yeah. in the video, um, the high rev players, this really seems to be a great tool yeah. for them. Yeah. To get them down lane and give them a really angular reaction. With that maximum energy retention, like it says in it, it just, yeah, it just floated through the front and then popped off the end. It gave them the control that they need and kind of were missing. Nice. All right, well, rather than listening to us talk about it, why don't we take it lane side and see how it's stacked up. All right, guys, here's Wayne Porter, our speed dominant player. Yeah, he's bowling like Kegel Main Street O pattern. Uh, now, you can see we talked about control. We talked about uh, getting down the lane cleanly. Yeah. Um, tell me what you think Wayne is thinking while he's throwing this ball. Um, Other than about uh, when's dinner. <laughs> 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 I just I think he's throwing, throwing it and going, well, that was easy. You know, is that going to come back? Oh, look at it come back <laughs> kind of thing. It's just, you know, just very – nonchalant from the throw of the ball it yep. was it was very effortless now wayne really liked the primal fear yes yeah um and it looks like this is just my opinion uh, as i didn't throw this ball but it, it looks like that this ball would fit in under the primal fear well, exactly and that's and that's what they were hoping for i mean it's got a similar motion just a little bit a little bit weaker yep which is what it's meant to be um and it just kind of rolls up and bang yeah, I mean, yeah, he's been he threw the primal fear quite a bit this year and uh, this, throwing good scores with it. So. This would be a perfect step down. Exactly. Now, oh my God, hair. <laughs> where's your hat? <laughs> <laughs> um, now, um, Woo! oh, nice. Um, we talked about this being the the great ball for uh, rev dominant yeah. players. Now there was a player who played this a lot over in Japan, if I remember it. Yes. Um, I believe his name is EJ Tackett. Uh, I don't know who that guy is. Uh, no. Um, yeah, I never heard of him. Yeah. Um, <laughs> when this ball came out, I don't. I think this ball was made for him. Um, he just took it and Ooh. dominated with it. Little um, angle there. Yeah, now over in Japan, while a lot of the other players were, were desperately looking for urethane, yeah. he went to this ball. Exactly. And, um, wow. I mean, there's a reason he was player of the year this year. I mean. Who? He, what? Who's who's play of the year? EJ Tackett. I, I don't know who that guy is. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what did you think of this ball? It, like we talked about, it was similar to the Primal Fear. Yep. A little bit weaker. Not quite as snappy it looks yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. Just overall, um, very clean, very smooth, great reaction down lane. Amazing pin carry. Now, speaking of high rev, rev dominant players... This is the guy who would would emulate the the that EJ Tackett, Tackett guy you're yeah. talking about. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they don't throw that much difference. Um, but Cam, he he enjoyed this ball. Yeah, that's what he said. He he had very good control. He could put it where he wanted it to, and it just went there because there was no early roll overreaction. And yeah, just I, blended I, it out and came out. I definitely noticed watching him throw this of all of the bowlers that. It did not overread. You can see on that shot he yeah. he'd gotten inside on, and it did not uh, just spit out the other side exactly. and flag the head yeah. pin. And when he's gotten it right, 
like this, yeah. it doesn't over jump. Exactly. It just it doesn't super read the friction. It kind of blends everything out beautifully. Yeah, which is weird for Pearl because you think Pearl angular. Exactly. Um, now, I mean, Cam can make it angular. I mean, here we go. Wee. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, that's just upping the speed a little bit and having the ball. But you can see the recovery time on that was just beautiful. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for another show. If you like what you saw this episode and want to find out more, don't forget to follow us on Facebook at Laneside Reviews or click below. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel or click on the box. Or and if you missed our last video or just want to watch it again, you can click on the other box. And don't forget you can pick up any of the jerseys you see in our videos by using this coupon code at LogoInfusion.com. So until next time, guys, we'll see you Laneside.